Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another edition of the Game of the Week. It is episode two of Pericles, and uh, we're going to try and get some momentum going for you and see what happens. So uh, away we go. We have our settler. We're on our way to city number two. Uh, this is where you kind of make a decision. You could go settler, settler here. Having not met anybody else, it looks like we're kind of surrounded. We could very well be on an island. Settler, settler would not be a mistake here. But I also like the idea of grabbing a monument because we do not have a first meet on a cultural city state yet. And so we're working that culture tree quite slowly. So going ahead and grabbing the monument right now would help immensely. So I think the, the right move here is to go ahead and grab that monument uh, right now. I think that's the way to go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's just keep on moving. Uh, I think... Or where's up here? I think we're going to fill this area out and then we'll kind of work this. I don't think there might be a city state in here. The city states are often clumped, but I don't think there would be one here because I'm sure as I walked across here, I probably would have met them already. It's tempting to go this way, but I'm going to try and get this sorted out and then come around and grab that area. Uh, let's go on that hill. Okay, there's a goodie hut there. That's closed off a really weak desert. Um, okay, we'll go back down that way, I guess. And then we'll go grab that goodie hut next turn. All right, away we go. Thanks for being here, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, I really have a nice place. Yeah, the early rush is brutal. Um, the early rush can absolutely be brutal. Um, Camp. Oof, this is rough. I kind of don't want to take the chance of this because it, he could get away. I'm not going to take the chance of losing that settler. It kind of sucks, but I'm going to wait a turn. So yeah, it looks like this is the coast here. Might be another tile up there, maybe. I think I may step to there just so I can clear that tile. I do not like to leave strangling tiles. Uh, about what happened there? Did I I kind of skipped past it. Did we get a boost? I think we must have got a Eureka, did we? Probably got bronze working, I guess, because we haven't killed three barbs. That's for sure. Um. No, I, I understand how it works, Raider. I, um... The, the concern is that he's kind of trapped right now, and so he's making his decision... He's it's he's making his decisions based on staying alive. And you can see that he actually did just move to that tile. And if I had to move my settler there on my way to here, I'd have lost him. Uh, and the reason why I didn't want to do that is because I'm standing here. And if he'd have done that, I'd have been two tiles away and therefore not have been able to immediately retaliate. And in that case, the settler may have, he, he may have started walking the settler off this way. And then it might be 20 turns from now before I get the settler back. Um, it means I've got to stop my scout from scouting and go and grab him. And that becomes the whole issue. So it's kind of important not to make any kind of... Definitive statements about how they'll work because you can't ever tell for sure. Ooh, there's a one four tile uh, Let's see if that's the end of the continent. That's a breathtaking so we know Well, it could possibly be a piece of land with with a tree on it, but um, It's probably water could be but it, you can so you can tell by the breathtaking appeal that It's got a plus six the, the tree is one there and then one two three four five six. So it's completely surrounded <clears throat> to your knowledge of this game you deserve the, the, to be dead wrong absolutely Nermiller has an, a good clip on how to not get attacked immediately
I have some clips. I, I think. Oh. All right. Um, I'm gonna actually. How many? What the fuck? I'm gonna stand there for two turns and allow him to heal. I'm gonna step there. What is this guy gonna move to? Looks like he wants to go there. I may end up buying that tile actually. Next turn. Well, I can buy this turn, I guess. Just buy it for fifty bucks. Uh, so I can work the two, three, and uh, really have the city start going. Um, units. This looks south along here. Lots of production here. Um, that two, three tile is gorgeous. A lot of options here. Uh, city there means you kind of want to grab that gypsum. And there's a diamond there. So maybe a settle in here, but you don't want to be too far away. You can't, can't grab that 2-3. If you settle the, the sheep, the 2-3 stays in play, as well as all of this. And it brings in the gypsum. So that's, I mean, again, I sporadic. This is how my mind works. You know, you guys know this by now. I just start looking for, hey, where's the city going to go? And that's just initial thought on a city. So I'm going to put it down there. When I see beautiful tiles, it starts my mind starts okay, clicking. Like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, let's keep moving this coast, uh, river, and no place to settle on it because there's no uh, route. Uh, I'm gonna go there. We'll be in position. You are gonna work that tile there. We are now working the two two with gold and the two three, just like that. Can I... Yeah, you have to build a harbor. Yeah, you have to build a harbor in order to do it. Yeah. So a city without a harbor can build it if it's right on the coast. Otherwise, uh, if it's back here somewhere, then you have to build a harbor on the water and then build it. Yeah. Uh, we can go there. It'd be nice to have a free source of farm, but we're not going to probably have one anytime soon. I guess there's this one here. We could possibly get lucky on. Get a builder up there and resource that far. That's a plus five food yeah, when we do. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to grab that and let that city grow. Uh, I'm letting him heal up Hendu. He was at energy, I think he was like 82 health. So I thought I'll just have him stand there for two turns um, in order to heal up. And uh, then he'd be full health and he'd be protect the settler as he walked through. And then I'm going to move him in that direction. Uh, there is the scout here, which could be an issue. Um, he won't be able to get me this turn. If the scout moves in this direction, then I'll move the warrior towards that in order to protect him. But, yeah. Push the warrior away from the settle. I'm not sure even that. Sorry. Okay. Uh, away we go. I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna go here, and he will. His his immediate react. Oh, there's a barb camp right there. That must have just popped up, did it? I did not notice that. Push the scout. Yeah, I just noticed that barb camp there. Uh, he won't go to there because he'll he'll risk the attack. Um, he'll he'll walk away for sure. I need to push him away from my land. Yeah, I know what you're saying now because if when I when I settle this city, uh, he's going to if he sees the city, then um, he'll go back and spawn. I know what you're saying. It's a bad. Is it bad that I'm? It's a holiday in Prague, and you're indoors watching Twitch. If it's miserable weather, then there you go. Uh, we can go work the 3-2 for the pasture, I think. Um, let's go get the information down here. There's some more elephants. And we're getting into the tundra down there, so... Okay. And I haven't left the house in a week. Good old Hindu. Um... 
So if I settle the city, he's going to be able to see it. And he's going to start spawning units. I actually think what I'm going to do is wait a turn to settle the city. Because if I settle the city right now, he's going to get an exclamation point for having seen the city. He's going to step here, and this barb hut's going to start spawning units. Now, I do have my warrior in place, but it's going to settle two warriors at a time for three turns, and it's going to start selling, uh, spawning slingers. <clears throat> Farm the XP. That's going to be a lot of units to kill. I, I don't think that's the right move. I mean, I hate to waste a turn, but like I said... If I settle right now, that's going to be a lot of warriors. Um, and then eventually slingers. It's it's not easy to, to combat that. I hate to waste the... It's what, turn 21? I hate to wait. No, I, then... Yeah, no, but they don't like that. Because then you're, then you're adjusting... Rushing a slinger takes more than the one turn I would lose here. I would, that would mean skipping going settler next here. And the slinger's still going to take eight, nine turns to get over here to help, right? Um, no, I'm skipping the turn. I'm sure there'll be plenty of discussion about that in chat and different opinions on it. But if you're playing deity... Uh, you do not want to run into barbarian problems, and those barbarians will start spawning immediately. Um, people come in here all the time saying how it's not fair how strong the barbarians are. The barbarians are OP, and it's not fair, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me tell you. There's smart ways to do things, and there's bad ways to do things. I always do things to the smartest of my ability uh, we always go monument that was terrible by the way I we always go monument uh, in our first cities or in our as a first build in any new city um, we're gonna go settler with this much space and having not seen another civilization going settler is the only way to go chat way is fun for chat it's not fun for me. <laughs> Head south here. See if we can't pick out some uh, goody huts down here, maybe. Uh, let's go next turn. And let's go right here. And compete against the barbarian. Hey, thank you very much for the follow. Zion? Zayano? Maybe it's Zayano. Thank you very much. All minds combined equals very smart. Not when all minds combined do not agree. Hey, there we go. We got a three two tile going there. Be very strong. Help out with growth. Give us our boost of craftsmanship and horseback riding right there. We love it. Um, now we're working very very nice effective tiles. It's fantastic, and we do have our luxury, which is good. Uh, tough battles here. Gonna be tough battles for sure. Get a couple of fights in there and uh, grab some heals. What do you guys think? Another population? Gold. Feels bad, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this promotion. I'm gonna take heals. Uh, Bugly Boy, thank you for the follow as well. All kinds of new people in here today. Thank you very much for being here, guys. Really appreciate the support. Really, really do. Don't forget to follow the YouTube folks. The uh, command is in chat and available to follow. Uh, yeah. YouTube, 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 baby. Every nation lives by exchanging. Change policies. We do not have our God King Pantheon yet by any means. Keep on trucking. Uh, we will push on to 
this. My only concern with that is, what's our population at? That's going to be pop two. See, we're going to lose the population here before the settler's done. So that's actually going to cost us. I want to make sure I get the boost to that. I think we'll still be fine, though. I think we'll still get that boost. we got to make sure we get that population to six boost. Uh, it's a second hand do. There you go. <laughs> Meetings. None of us is as dumb as all of us. I like that. Oh, what? Bizarre. <laughs> Meetings. None of us is as dumb as all of us. I love that. Absolutely love it. Uh, okay. Is that the same barbarian? No, wait, that was a different one. So I think there's a, there's a barbarian hut down here somewhere. Or no, maybe that actually could be the one that was here and it came down around here. We'll find out here when we take this thing out. I'm going to heal for a couple turns. Uh, one thing you got to be careful about in these ones. Uh, we're already, we've lost those first two battles slightly. If we were to take, if we were to take this battle on right now, we're going to lose it and lose it rather significantly. Um... And what's going to happen is, is we're going to be significantly lower than them. And the Barbarian, let me assure you, the Barbarians are much smarter now as they've, as they've advanced this game along. He is going to attack back and finish you off. Because he is going to recognize that he actually has the advantage. You're on flat ground. And he's going to recognize that he's a higher strength than you. And he will kill you if you take this battle right now. You make sure you take a couple turns to heal and get the strength up in order to defeat him in the battle. How do bits work? Uh, you have to. Um, you can watch ads in order to acquire bits if you like. Uh, there's also the ability to. Oof, that's ugly to cross over. Got to do it though. Uh, you can also buy them from uh, by clicking the in the corner in the chat window. There's a little uh, right beside the emoticon thing. There's a little kind of diamond shaped looking thing. Shape. You just click on that, and it can link you to either watching ads to gain bits. Or purchasing the bits themselves. Okay. What the hell? Why does your comments keep getting held, Hindu? It's ridiculous. <sighs> Stupid chat bot. Oh, there's another goody hut. That's fantastic. We're so close to getting that boost. It's 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 tempting to hold that settler for two well it'll be three turns, I guess. I could I could grab the trader. Three turns on the trader. Gets us to pop six, then we finish the settler. I'm gonna do that. That gets us to pop six, gives us the boost early early empire. Which pushes us to the colonization card very quickly, and then that gets us there. Uh, uh, masonry. Don't like to do anything without the boosts. We can't get that farming boost. We got a builder in that city. Still have a medical other civilization, which is scary. You can go masonry. Check out where the iron is. Have we found any iron yet? There's iron up there. Jesus. That's the only iron? Oh. So, gonna want a city up in there for sure to grab that. Certainly not going to get the boost for building an iron mine. That's uh, that's for damn sure. Another forty gold. It's not population or a builder, but we'll take it. I'm gonna wait one more turn here. 
get that plus 10 more health, give us a better, get us in a favorable position. And go ahead and take that. It's a stalemate, which is fine, because we have we have more health than him. Uh, 28, 28. So if he attacks us, we win. Uh, so we're okay with that now. And then we'll finish him off. The auto mod is a, a ruthless tyrant, indeed. Clear that out, and I guess we can just walk through their land and come through there. <clears throat> okay. Um, now that was not what we wanted to see. That was not what we wanted to see at all. That is one of the dangers of standing by a barb hut too long, is that they will start spawning a units. Um, we do have a promotion. I think I want to step here. I'm going to step there. He'll step there. He won't be able to hit me. I'll take the promotion, then I'll get the defensive boost on the on the hill. <clears throat> yeah, I like that for sure. Um, we're at pop two here now. Um, we are not. So this is this is where you want to buy a tile. Uh, we don't want to wait 11 turns. Um, we don't, we're, we're currently not working a tile that's at least two food and two production, or at least four total overall output. So you definitely want to buy a tile here. And certainly the 3-2 tile will be uh, very, very strong. Probably actually should have bought that right out of the gate. That was actually a mistake. Probably should have bought the 3-2 tile immediately. Because we were going to buy it anyway, so you might as well have been working the food for the last six turns. That was actually a bit of a mistake. Yeah, no, I, that was should have been bought. That was a mistake to not, to not have bought that. Just a minor, minor mistake there. And if it's not an empty barb hut, let's pray that he's not going to grab that because that would be disappointing. Yay, we get to clear it. Okay, so he killed himself for some reason. Uh, this guy is going to take the promotion. Uh, we will win that fight handily. We are going to transfer this trade route. Actually, you know what? I think I might keep the trade route in the capital and keep and make and keep the capital. Oh wait, forget it. Babylon wants a trade route. That's what you do right there. We'll grab the extra science. We'll grab the gold and every envoy that you can grab with Pericles is fantastic. Uh, we'll run that. Both cities are quite strong. They don't need any help necessarily. Sometimes I like that my trade routes go into cities that are kind of weak, that they don't they don't have those two two tiles and three two tiles to work in order to boost them up early. Uh, but because both these tiles or both these cities are going to work quite well, there's going to be lots of good tiles to work. Neither one of them needs it. Uh, it's worth grabbing the gold in science and running it to Babylon for the uh, for the uh, envoy, uh, just like that. What do these guys want, by the way? I didn't even check that. Great Merchant and Great Merchant. Okay, so commercial hubs are kind of going to be like the third or fourth district we build in most cities. So it might be a little while before we get a Great Merchant, but certainly I think eventually we'll definitely be able to work towards one. Um, we're slogging away towards our Pantheon. At this point, uh, oh, Sep is actually only at one turn now because we're up to pop four, so that's very nice. Um... And we did get our boost, early empire, as you can see. So we're actually three turns from having the settler card, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, we're going to clear that barb hut. Boom, just like that. Uh, your progress, blah, 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 done. Uh, and I'm gonna go like this so that I can move in that direction. So I'm thinking more and more that uh, we're on an island. Feels bad, man. Uh, it's not bad necessarily. It leaves us lots of space to play some city, but um, it's um, 
Oh, you're right. It was Marsh, so he wouldn't have been able to take out. Yeah, good point over here. Uh, I just lost my train of thought. Sorry. I, I just chat. Just I answered a question in chat, and then boom, thought gone. <sighs> hey, Bugly found the bits. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Kaboom. Blink. There wasn't a lot in there. It's a lot more fun when it's filled up with uh, stuff that can bounce around. <laughs> but I appreciate it very much. Um, if anybody remembers what I was talking about, I apologize for that. We have to find out where we're going to send this city. Um, I kind of like the idea of staying in around here. You're still working it out? Yeah. <laughs> There's, uh, there's, you can send individual bits, like some people bet like 25 and 30 bits at a time with individual things and it fills it up with lighter bits and then the bigger bits are heavier and it knocks it around. Um, let's take a quick look actually. Um, what I would like to do is take a look at where we'd like to build some cities. I considering the possibility, oh, there we go. Some more biddies. Thank you, bud. Doink. Need some small bitties in there to have some fun with. Uh, a city there, I feel, is a good solid idea. And I also think maybe a city here is a good solid idea. Uh, now, either one of these has a 2 2 up. There's a 3 1 there is solid. That's a good one there. Uh, as far as donating bits, you can do, you can change it and not donate 100 at a time. You can donate like. 10 bits, 20 bits, 30 bits at a time, and they, they drop as single individual things. I, I'm not really sure how to explain it. But you don't have to donate $1 at a time. You can donate smaller amounts to fill it up and then donate bigger amounts to make... The more you the more you donate, the, the heavier the bit is. So the bit makes big explosions. Um, certainly a city on this fresh water makes a lot of sense. One, two, three. So that would be a city there. Plenty of hills around for the Acropolis. Stuff like that. I don't know. Oh, you can, yes, there is. Oh, you can just send... You can you uh, donate money uh, through PayPal. Bugly boy. Uh, if you prefer PayPal. PayPal is actually the most efficient way to send money because you don't have to pay the premium on the bits for... Uh, uh, to the folks at um, Amazon. But then you don't get your name on the cheer board and that's what like people like to do. So, What's the next city to build? Um, I kind of like going here or here. There's a three one there. Stone, diamonds, two two. You can grab tiles off this guy before he starts grabbing them on us. That probably makes the most sense. I kind of feel like I want to go to here. I don't think there's a wrong answer on that though. What if the AA is smart and also fortifies? Oh, they don't. They always attack. I mean, you're talking about the barbarians. Yeah, they always attack. That's just their mentality of all their military units is to attack. Only their scout will avoid uh, contact. Uh, what's our golden age at? Minus. We need four more. Minimum ten turns. Grabbing a hoplite would fix that. But I kind of want to grab a granary to help the city start growing now. Um... Two turns, we get a governor. He also has donate link. Oh yeah, Kinshaw, thank you. That's a good point, yeah. There's a link down below in the video. Uh, down below on this channel, just to go in there and donate via PayPal. 
Uh, let's go there, I guess. Or there, I guess, too. Yeah, that does it. Uh, next turn. Turn 32 on Stone Edge, not too bad. Alright. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now is take this before he spawns another unit. And uh, I'll still win that next battle on that ideal terrain. Grab that. That gets us to one there. We just need one more era score at this point. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Cross over, and then the next turn we can settle. Run this way. Monument in one, greenery in four. Uh, before long, we can start spinning out more settlers and not lose population. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Bugly Boy. Uh, very generous of you. Coming in here, just drop the follow, throwing bits around, dropping the sub. Thank you very much for that, buddy. Uh, second new sub of the day, right? Was that second new sub of the day? And third sub overall? Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Great to have you guys here. Rory Hearts, indeed. Let's get some Rory Hearts in chat. Thank these guys for the support. Glad you guys found us. Uh, da, 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 donation link. Yeah, when you're buying bits, yeah, it's you're you're only the amount of money getting through to the streamer is less than if you just straight up donate money. Then on PayPal, your bits other than the transaction fee, it's basically all getting through. That's how we roll. That's how you roll, baby. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Let's take a look here. We're going to turn on the Settler card. I need five more turns on that. I'd have to lose this for a bit, which I don't necessarily mind. Um, oh, trolled by the Babylon. I can't settle this turn. Oh, such a troll. We got three turns here. How many more turns? We got four turns on craftsmanship right there. And we are four turns from having our Pantheon. So we're not and so because we're three turns on the greener, we're not gonna start a settler for at least three turns. So it's probably worth keeping both of these on right now and then turning the settler card on when craftsmanship finishes. Uh, we have not got a district built and we don't have that boosted, so that's unfortunate. But, uh, within 14 turns, we'll be able to have settlers finish without losing population, which is the ideal situation. Um, now we're starting to get into a situation where we kind of have to start researching stuff we don't have. Um, let's throw some turns into writing because I don't, it doesn't appear as though we're going to meet anybody. Um... This is this city's already eight turns away from being a pop. Four. I'm gonna get the greenery in there so we don't halt the population growth. Uh, you guys will notice I very often like to go monument greenery in my new cities. Get that foundation set. They're producing culture. Uh, it's it's helping it grow. It's having a population bonus. Um, makes a big difference. Um, once those are done, then the city's got so much more capabilities for getting your districts built and stuff like that. Yes, Bugly Boy, they do. That's one of their big things that they get is an extra wild card policy slot. Plato's Republic. Uh, both Gorgo and Pericles get that ability. Plato's Republic. <clears throat> the Greeks having founded uh, modern democracy and a lot of the um, the the foundations of most governments come from the Greeks. So I guess part of the reason why they probably have that ability is the initial concepts of the Republic came from that. Uh, this guy's essentially very injured, so I'm going to have him go into city center and heal up. And this guy has to wait a turn because AI troll every time. 
And now we can step there and found our city. Um, we'll work the three one. So it'll grow quickly. We could buy a two two as well. Might not be a bad idea. The thing is, is that it's going to get to pop in five turns. It's going to need another another tile to work anyway. So you might as well actually buy the two two. Plus you keep you keep. Uh, Babylon from expanding to it. If for some reason we were able to get them another envoy. They would grab that tile. Look at this. Another brand new sub. Breakfield. That name does not even sound familiar. People are just dropping in and throwing the Twitch Prime down. Thank you very much for that. So much support coming in here today. Thank you guys. Breakfield. Welcome aboard. And thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Support means a lot. It really does, guys. Every little bit of it means a huge difference. <clears throat> More biddies. Thank you, Bugly. Uh, so we're going to appoint Magnus as always. We'll throw him in Athens where we're going to be spitting out all of our settlers. And um, once we get the uh, second promotion on him, the uh, settlers will not cost us population, which is great. So we've got our scout here. We're going to get up on this hill and clear that out. And we need to try and get down here and clear this out in this corner. So let's... I'm going to go to here so I can cross the river next turn. And then we can skip along through here and fill that out. You want a bit war whatever that is? <laughs> Going for the Dark Age? Uh, I, will, I won't say... I won't... Um, I don't really care if I get one or not, Hendu, at this point. It's not going to help me or hurt me because I can't... I won't be able to work the card because I'm going to be pumping Settlers for the, the entire next stage anyway. Um, I only need one more. If I get it, I get it. If not, I'm not really concerned either way about it. Beat the beat the Greeks uh, with about 90 years. What? Oh well, yeah. I've I've read both situations, uh, but certainly the Greeks claim to have the first, um, have built the first republic. Anyway. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, certainly, Hendu, I'm not going to go ahead and waste my time building a hoplite to get four era score. Um, kind of want to grab a builder because I want to build the farm here. Um, I kind of want to eat that for population, get that city's population way up. I also want to do work down here. I'm going to go Builder, I think. Uh, thanks for explaining everything as you go... Uh, as you do it in the game. Uh, I had like two hours of Civ 6 because I didn't understand a lot of uh, changes from 5. Up to 30 hours now. Breakfield, I'm so glad you're enjoying, buddy. Uh, this is what I'm here for. This is the way I love playing the game. I really enjoy uh, walking through the steps. And uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you again very much for the support. Twitch Prime. By all means, ask questions. I love people playing this game. It makes me happy to know that people are playing this game because it's so great. So welcome. <clears throat> yeah, so elected king, definitely not a democracy. Um, so folks... Um, I was in the middle of saying something. Oh, yeah. I was also going to ask a question real quick, Breakfield. Did you find me on YouTube? Uh, actually, number, anybody in here. Is there anybody in here who found me on YouTube and came over here? I like asking that question sometimes because I'm curious about the flow of people. There's a lot of people from here going to YouTube to check stuff out, help me out, support me there. But I'm curious about how many people are finding me on YouTube um, through searches and stuff like that. How they're finding me through searches trying to find ways to get more visibility on YouTube in whichever way I can. 
Uh, there's the end of the video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have three cities on turn 37. Uh, I really like the way this is going. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the island. I'm assuming this is an island. Um, because it means it's going to be harder to meet city-states. So we're going to have to get into the water here, I guess, before too long. Uh, but it also means it's a nice, chill, peaceful game. Uh, it's going to allow us to play SimCity. Uh, but, yeah. This is the game we got. The information about the map is in the uh, description. Uh, it's also available in chat if you want to check that out. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been another edition of the Game of the Week, Pericles style. Hope you're enjoying yourself, and we'll see you for the next episode. Bye-bye.